Hi, I'm Tara Lee Cobble of the Bible Recap Podcast and Book. And today, you and I get to talk about Psalm 24.1. It says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. These are the words of King David. And even as king, he remembers that he's not in charge. God is the owner of everything. We live in his kingdom where he is on the throne. David refers to him as the Lord. And this word Lord can also be translated as the self-existent one or the eternal one. To be self-existent means no one made God. He existed without us. He doesn't depend on us. He doesn't need us for his existence or his joy. And yet, he created us out of the overflow of his love. You exist because of God's love. How comforting is that to know that the eternal king of the universe created you for love. He set his heart on you. He has chosen you to be his forever. We belong to him, according to this verse. I'll be honest, as a single person, the thought of belonging to someone can sometimes be scary for me. Because what if they're not trustworthy? What if their heart is unkind? And that's why belonging to the Lord is such a great comfort. He has proven his love consistently throughout the pages of his word. When you read scripture and see the overall meta narrative, you'll see a through line of his long suffering love and pursuit of his people despite all their sin. God has set his heart on you. Do you believe it? If you don't, make it your aim to get to know more about who he is. You'll do that by reading the whole Bible. And if you haven't read the whole Bible, start today. Find a whole Bible plan in this app. And if you have read the whole Bible, have you looked for him when you read it? His character, his personality, what he loves and what he hates and what motivates him to do what he does? Where do you mistrust his heart today? Ask him to reveal himself to you in the pages of his word. And while Jesus' death and resurrection is the most significant evidence of God's love for you, he delights to show his love for you repeatedly in different ways. So I'm asking him to do that for you today, to show up in ways that are Lara specific and Omar specific and Miguel specific and Taishan specific. Whatever your name is, he knows you, he sees you, he owns you, he loves you, and he's where the joy is.